to cook some ugali. If you're from the eastern part of Africa or region, we call it ugali. Again, depending on whichever part of um, the country, you would call it something different. Um, but Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, I'm sure all that part of East Africa, we call um, the maize flour meal ugali. In the southern part of Africa, they call it nzima or iwisa. And um, the western part of Africa, I think they call it fufu. Uh, whichever part uh, of the world, but what I'm talking about is the maize flour meal that I, I want to prepare. And I want to show you how to cook a lot of food using very little maize flour that can feed a big family using the simplest uh, or, or the least kind of maize flour um, that you can get. And I know it's tough times around this time with the coronavirus um, going on, people losing their jobs, people not having enough food to eat from. This is one of the things that you can eat and you'll be able to feed your family and not go hungry. So follow me and I'll show you what you need to do. Hi. Okay, step number one, you need to have your ingredients ready. I'm going to be using this maize meal. It's called Iwisa, number one. I, I am not affiliated to it. I'm not promoting it. And I'm not getting anything out of them. I just like this brand. But you can use whichever brand you like or whichever maize flour that you prefer. I just um, prefer that one. I normally put it in this container here because it's easy to pour out when I am cooking. Like you can see, that's a very big bag. So I normally pour it out into that container. Then I've got my measuring cup and I've got my moiko there. I also have uh, some butter to add that I'm going to be adding. So what I'll do is using this cup, it's just a normal cup, tea cup, I'm going to add four cups of water into my cooking pot, cold water. And, um, and then I'm going to measure one cup of the flour, one cup of this flour into this cup and I'm going to pour it into my cooking so I've got my one cup of flour and four cups of water it's cold water I know it's a different way of making ugali especially if, if you're from the East Africa region I know um, some people from the southern part cook like this but in the East Africa region we, we cook it differently and I just want to show you how to make a lot of ugali using very little and you can serve a big family with that so I'm just stirring to make sure the, the, the flour is nice and smooth and then once I've done that I'm going to turn on my cooker so that water is still cold water then I'm going to turn on my cooker and I will continue stirring all the way through until it starts getting hot. Okay, so keep following me and you'll see how our ugali is going to come through. So you can see people, my maize flour is starting to thicken. Um, in the East Africa region, I think this is how you will make porridge but the essence of it is um, for it the ugali to be nice and smooth and it's not sticking um, but it's not porridge so you can see my moiko is starting to um, to stick onto it see that's how it is and at this point is when I add the, the butter in so I'm going to add the butter now just because I like um, the ugali to be just to add a little a little um, fattiness so it's not just tasty not, not tasty so I'm going to add just uh, can see that size is half, half a cup of butter into my ugali mixture and another thing guys if it becomes too hard you can add 
water, hot water, have some um, boiled water, this water is hot, add some hot water and keep stirring, keep making sure that your mixture is nice and smooth. I don't know what that is called in English. But keep it nice and smooth. You can see that is a lot of uh, ugali. I, and this is just the one cup of maize flour that I used against four parts of water. But I keep adding the water because I don't want it to be too hard. We want to keep it nice and soft. So I'm going to add uh, more hot water. stirring making sure that it is nice and smooth you see that is a lot of ugali that already can feed like 10 people so far and my family is not a big family but i just want to show you how you can make a lot of ugali in these tough times and feed a big family some people like adding salt to taste so if you're one of those who like salt you can add salt at this point i normally use the butter because butter has salt in it so i don't add extra salt but if you like uh, your ugali tasty you can add a bit of salt into it so you can see now it's nice and smooth and it's cooking nicely so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it now to to cook on its own i'm going to cover the cup like that and reduce the fire and allow it now to cook on its own slowly so give it like about um three minutes or so and then we'll come back to it okay it's um five minutes after i'm going to check how our ugali is doing um, you can see it's cooking nicely I'm going to give it another five minutes you don't want to eat ugali that is not fully cooked and like you can see it's still nice and smooth and I know a lot of people are wondering that looks like um, uji not ugali but trust me by the time we are finished it's gonna be looking like um, like ugali uh, what we, we normally do is see i've got my foil there ready i'm going to, to be folding it in a foil paper once it's fully cooked and uh, it will look nice and yummy you can use um, to eat with you can use the greens spinach or or meat beef stew Whatever you prefer to eat with, you can use it. Um, you can use to cook with, um, but I think today I'm going to use beans. I want to show the simplest way of making ugali without having to struggle financially. All right, the ugali is now ready. wrap it in um, in a foil paper this foil paper here so um, what you do you can either use the moiko that you normally cook with or you can take a, a serving spoon some people prefer taking a serving spoon so that you know how to measure equal amounts like that and with the serving spoon, you put the amount onto, onto your foil paper there. Okay. So we put it in there like that. And I think that's too little, so we're going to add another one. And you add it on like that. And then we wrap it. We're going to wrap it up. So that's how you wrap it up. And uh, you keep adding different portions and 
material the ugali is finally finished out of the pot okay. all right so all the ugali is now wrapped up like you can see and uh, what i normally suggest is depending on the members of your family try and wrap different portions you can pack uh, bigger portions and smaller portions especially if you've got small children because this portion is supposed to be eaten on its own without um, you know without being being shared so each portion goes to everyone's plate so if you've got smaller children and um, pack smaller portions for them and then the adults you can pack uh, bigger portions for them and ugali is usually very very satisfying you don't need to eat a whole lot so remember we only used one cup of flour one cup of maize flour and uh, four parts of water in a cup and that is a lot of ugali that we have got from that so even in these tough times there's no reason why you should not be able to feed your family and feed them enough so next i'm going to be making um, the accompaniment and what I've prepared here is, um, I'll show it to you in a bit, is um, beans, you know, normal beans. So I've not gone an expensive way. So these are boiled beans and I'm going to use this as, as a stew that is going to be eaten with the ugali. And uh, that is an affordable meal to everybody. Again, ugali, if you prefer, you can have it with nyamachoma, kachumbari, there's a lot of options that you can go with, but I'm just thinking about these tough times and um, what you can eat and have a balanced diet in, in the very simplest way. You can go to, to your garden if you have one and pluck some spinach or sukuma wiki and you'll be able to have a nice meal that is affordable and you'll not have struggled. So let me make um, the stew. I'm, I'm now going to, to do the stew and then I'll be back. So I'm now going to be making the the beans stew. I've got my beans in there and I've got my my spices that I'm going to be using. Um, I've got one more here that I've forgotten. That I've got all my spices in there and once the onions cook. Add the spices in again i just tend to use um, the same spices but ginger ginger puree a teaspoonful garlic a teaspoonful uh, mixed carbs all of them at the same time, they really don't matter. This one for and chili uh, pepper. This one for and you can see it's browning nicely your jumbo flavor. I'm going to take a teaspoon and add that teaspoonful inside and again mix it up with the rest. Don't let the onions to, to burn. Just allow them to brown up nicely. Follow me just um, to add uh, to add that. I've also got uh, some meatball there that's boiling that I'm going to add. You don't have to add the meatball. You can if you like or you can add meat or you can just eat the, the beans on its own. Either way it's still going to be okay. Okay, that's nice. So that's my meat. 
from my meatballs. It's a uh, sieve. Add to the mixture there. And like I said, you don't have to, you can skip that step. If you don't have meat, you can keep it. And then the beans, I'm going to add the beans now in there. Right, so you can see I've added the beans and the meatballs and that is a lot of food. And that can be eaten with our ugali here. So I'm going to serve it in a plate and uh, we can enjoy simple food not expensive and everyone can enjoy that everyone can afford that during these tough times again like i said you can skip the meatballs if you don't have them you can just eat the beans on its own it's still healthy it's still protein i just added uh, meatballs because i prefer adding um, some meat to it but if you don't have and if you can afford it you don't have to it's still protein at the end of the day so let me serve it in a plate there is our final product our ugali i've taken the the wrapping paper off so see it's nice it's ugali like that and you can eat with your beans mm. yum mm. that is yummy so let me go and enjoy my meal thank you everyone for following me if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it is Sharon Wabaraka Official. There is also some of my music on there. Be blessed. Share, like, and be blessed. Baraka man!